Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you how I can my chicken broth. So let's get started. Now my soup is all done. For me to can it, what I'm going to do is I take the broth out of here. I have the strainer and it'll catch everything. So all I'll have is broth in that bowl. And that's what I'll be canning. So I'll just add a little bit more to this bowl. So now I have it in my bowl and I'll put the lid on it. What I'm going to do is let this cool down and then I'll place it in my fridge. And what happens is that all the fat comes to the top and then I can skim off the, the fat off the top and then I'll can the rest. So back on to draining more of the broth. So I'll put my strainer in my pan. See how it catches like all the chicken fat? And if there's any chicken bones that are floating around in the soup, the strainer catches it. Do a little bit more. Once the chicken cools down, then I'll take the meat off of the bone. Right now it's too hot for me to handle. So I'll place all this right in this pot. Nice tender piece of meat. Place just a little bit more. Nice tender piece of meat.
meat came right off the bone. I think the rest will fit. That's it. So I'll place the rest of this in here. Wait for it to cool down and then that's when I'll take all the chicken off of the bone. And then I'll weed through all the vegetables here. So now I'll take this pot. So I have this bowl. And once it cools down, I'll put it in the fridge and then I'll wait for the fat to come to the top. And I have this much chicken broth in my pan. I'll do the same to this. Too hot to go in the fridge, so I'll just let it rest here. So as soon as this cools down, into the fridge it goes. To put the soup in my jars for canning, I have to boil my soup for five minutes. So it's on my stove. I'm just waiting for it to come to a boil and then I'll wait five minutes. I have my canner getting nice and hot. I have an extra pot so that I can sterilize the lids. While the water in my canner is getting warm, I have some extra water just in case it goes down on the canner. And I'll boil my broth in my jars once they're in the canner for 75 minutes under 10 pounds of pressure. And that's how I can my chicken broth. I already washed my jars, but I'm getting them nice and warm. So I have some water in the jars and they're in my microwave. I want to make sure everything's hot because the soup will be hot going in these jars, so I want the jars to be nice and hot. I put my soup in my jars and my jars are in my canner. And you'll cook this chicken broth in the jars in the pressure canner for 75 minutes under 10 pounds of pressure. So now I'll put the 10 pound weight on. Once this weight starts rocking, that's when I'll lower my temperature and leave it at a steady rock for 75 minutes. You can see the pressure gauge is at a steady rock. So now I'll lower my burner to medium. And let this cook for 75 minutes. A few more minutes. Now it's time to turn the burner off. And now I'll wait for the pressure to subside before I take the lid off. And here are the jars out of the canner. So I'll just let them rest for 24 hours and then put them away. So I let my jars sit for 24 hours. And what I did is I put the month and year on the lid. And now I'll go put them away. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make the way I can my chicken broth. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.